Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyOnMarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create coupons for your products within Thrivecart. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it. So we'll come in here and we'll go to products and then you'll notice at the top here, we have an option for coupons. Let's go ahead and click on it. So now we can go ahead and click on create a brand new coupon, or you could go ahead and look at one of the coupons you have previously created. But in this video, we're creating a brand new one. So we'll come here and click create new coupon. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but we'll go through it together. So the first field we need to go ahead and fill out is the coupon name, and this is just to identify it to you. So whatever words you need to use to describe your coupon, go ahead and write them here. And then we can go ahead and create a coupon code. So it can be anything you want, as long as it is at least three characters. And then we have our coupon status. So the default is enabled. So if you want people to actually be able to use this coupon, you would of course enable it. But if you want to turn off this coupon because maybe the deal is over, you could go ahead and click disabled. I'll go ahead and do enabled. And then there's the discount type. So the default is fixed price, or you can do percentage, or you can do free shipping. So if your product is a physical product that requires shipping and you wanna do a free shipping coupon, you could go ahead and click on that option. But we'll just go ahead and do a fixed price for this particular example, and I'll just do $50. And then we can go ahead and click on next. So now we have usage. So this coupon is redeemable immediately. So as soon as I click save, this coupon would be functional and working. Or if I'm doing a promotion or something like that, and I'm just building this coupon in advance, I could go ahead and set a start date for this coupon to go live. And so the coupon would not work until after that date right there, but I'll just do it immediately. Same concept with this next question right here. So this coupon is redeemable until, so this would be an end date. So if you wanna set an end date for your coupon, you could go ahead and select that right there. So again, personal preference on what you're using your coupon for. Now you can set up coupons for individual affiliates as well. So this could be a great way to reward your top performing affiliates is to let them have a special coupon to give to their audience and that may generate a whole lot more sales. So let's go ahead and click this option and we'll say yes for example. And then we can go ahead and select the affiliate ID. So I have Nathan test right here. And so now anytime somebody uses that coupon code, the commission of that sale will be tracked to this affiliate right here. So even if the customer doesn't go through the affiliate link, as long as they use the coupon code, the commission will still be applied to the correct affiliate. So that's definitely a nice feature. And then we also have the option to disable after a fixed number of uses. So maybe you want the coupon to only be able to be used, you know, 10 times you could go ahead and set 10 right there or maybe it's an unlimited time coupon in which you, case you could go ahead and click on no right there i'm gonna go ahead and click on next now and now we can go ahead and choose what products you want to apply this coupon to so the default is all of my products or you could go ahead and select specific products for this coupon code so you have a whole list of all your products right here and you could go ahead and select which ones are relevant so i'll do my amazing product right here and you can see as soon as I click that, it shows all the different pricing options that are associated with this particular product. So do I want this coupon to apply to all of the options right here? Or maybe only a couple of them. Maybe I only wanna do it for the one-time payment option. So I incentivize people to do the one-time payment. So I could go ahead and select that option right there. And one other thing to note is that the coupon only applies to the initial product. So for example, this product right here contains a funnel with it that has an upsell and a downsell. However, the coupon can't be applied to the upsell or the downsell option. It's just that initial first product that the coupon can be applied to. So I just wanted to mention that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck this box and we'll leave it right here for the one-time payment option. We'll go ahead and click on next. And now we can set up targeted behavior rules if we want to. So let's go ahead and click add a rule and see what this does. So the first thing we need to do is select a service you wish to set up a rule for. So I have active campaign integrated with my Thrivecard account. So that's the option I have. So when your customer purchases with this coupon is the only option that's available right here. And I could go ahead and add them to or remove them from. And I could add them or remove them from a list an automation, existing tag, or new tag. So only a few behavioral options are available for these coupons, and it may or may not be helpful to you. But anyway, it's there, and I just wanted to show it to you real quick. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. And here I can see my coupon, and there's a few options. I could copy the URL, I could copy the code, or I could go ahead and edit the coupon. So if I wanna make changes to the coupon, of course, you'd go ahead and click on edit, and you could go ahead and make some changes to the coupon. But let's go ahead and click on copy URL. And what this lets us do is generate a URL that automatically applies this coupon. So since this coupon is only available for one product, I only have one product available in this dropdown list. But if I selected a whole bunch of products that this coupon could be applied to, well, then I would see all those products in this list and Thrivecart would generate a unique link to whatever individual product I select right here. But I'm gonna do my amazing product and copy and continue. And then let's go ahead and open a new incognito window and we'll go ahead and paste that link in there. 
And you can see that it's bringing me to the My Amazing Product page and the coupon super special will be applied. So let's go ahead and click it and see where it takes us. So here's my super awesome page and we can see right here that there's a discount being applied of $50. I can see that there's a super special coupon code entered right there and it applies to the one-time payment option. So if I click this option right here, it should remove my coupon code and you can see this coupon does not apply to this order because it only applies to this one pricing option, the one-time payment option. So there we go. If they wanna save 50 bucks, they gotta spend 997 or I guess 947 in order to save 50 bucks. And let's come back to Thrivecart real quick. So there's also the option to copy code and all that does is copy the coupon code to your clipboard. So super special right there is my coupon code. So if you forgot what you set your coupon code to then you could do copy code and then you would know what it is but anyway that's pretty much it for setting up a coupon code within thrivecart hopefully you found this video helpful if you did i appreciate it so likes comment subscribes and or check out crazymarketing.com and i hope you have a great rest of the day